What's going on YouTube, Aaron here, and in today's video, we are hopping back into the Bob Saget story. Now, it's not super common for me to make two videos in a row over the exact same topic. However, after making the video and publishing it earlier this week on the Bob Saget story, which if you haven't seen it, I'll link that up here in a card and then down in the description below, um, I had several of you who watched that video both reach out to me uh, in the comments, but also DMs on Twitter and even emails of different things that I kind of overlooked or maybe didn't include in that video. And I thought, let's make a follow up uh, to the first video. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out because we go over kind of the timeline of events throughout that whole day leading up to him coming back to the Ritz Carlton where he was pronounced dead the following day after that his last uh, show. Uh, near Jacksonville. I want to go through some of those things that were sent to me. Um, so go check out that first video if you haven't already. Uh, I also want to go through some of the things that have been standing out to me, or at least since posting that video, have kind of been in my head. I'm just thinking like, well, wait, what about this? You know. And so I want to cover all of those things in this follow-up video. Uh, and so yeah, let's just jump into it. So this is kind of what everyone was seeing at first. Bob Saget, comic who starred in the sitcom Full House, dies at 65. It says the actor who had also hosted America's Funniest Home Videos was found dead in an Orlando hotel room while on tour. So at that point, the general public is left to kind of speculate on what could have happened to Bob Saget, right? Everyone immediately probably thinks, oh my gosh, did, hopefully he didn't kill himself. You know, we have all these comedians, it feels like recently that have taken their own lives. And then even further in the past, we have, you know, Robin Williams and, and many, many other notable comedians. And it, anytime a comedian dies, it always feels like, oh no, like hopefully that's not the case. And then everyone else goes to, oh, did he overdose? Uh, was it an accidental thing? Like, what was it, right? And so in the initial reports, obviously people just were left kind of to speculate. And then, of course, like I said in the last video, say what you want about TMZ, but I'm just kind of showing the timeline of articles. But we were kind of fed these narratives, which was he apparently died in his sleep without suffering. And that's a little strange. People were like, OK, I mean, he was only 65. That's not incredible. Like he didn't seem incredibly out of shape or incredibly in bad health. You know, I think people still wanted to know, was there more that people weren't getting from this story. And then TMZ, you know, five days later, six days later, posts that his family had a history of heart attacks. So then the general, the general public is like, oh, okay, well, he probably died of a heart attack then. Because if his dad was affected and he had three uncles that were affected, it probably runs in the family. That's probably what happened to Bob Saget, right? Everyone at that point, and at least when I saw this, I don't even know if it was the TMZ one, but when I saw that, I was like, oh, I bet that that's what ended up happening. It was probably some complication related to his heart. A month later, of course, we talk about this in the last video, we get the autopsy. We have the actual cause of death released, which is that he hit his head. It was severe head trauma. Obviously, they ruled almost immediately that it was likely not an overdose. There were probably not drug, it was probably not drug related. And that's because upon first glance at his hotel room, they were able to identify that there weren't uh, an enormous amount of like pill bottles. You know, just visually, they weren't seeing empty liquor bottles. You know, if you see those kinds of things, you kind of probably have an idea that he may have ended his own life or things started to derail and he may have had an accidental overdose of some sort, like whatever. Those things weren't found, right? I, obviously, he had his own uh, things that he had medications for, uh, much like a lot of people in their 60s and 70s start to take certain things. So, of course, there were medications in the room, but it wasn't apparent upon first glance that this was drug related. And so that got me thinking more. Well, there were people that had to show up and pronounce Bob Saget deceased, dead, right? Wouldn't they have noticed his injuries were significant upon first glance. I mean, we're talking about severe head trauma that neurosurgeons, and I talk about this in the last video, compared to people that they've seen that have had injuries from baseball bats to the head or falling from 20 to 30 feet onto your head. I know you can hit your head and sometimes you're not going to break skin and you're not going to bleed. And it, and it was determined that he died from bleeding to the brain. 
but you would think that there was going to, there would be some external bleeding as well. If he hit his head that hard, wouldn't there be blood in the hotel room? And so of course that's where my mind was going all of this week. I was like, why didn't I stress this in the first video? Of course there should have been blood, right? You would think. And so in this article, it says, obviously, like I was just commenting on that no drugs or alcohol were involved. The autopsy revealed that Saget suffered multiple fractures stretching from the back to the front of his skull and to his eye sockets. So once again, you can break bones in your face and maybe not be able to tell if skin's not broken or, or things like that. Like you can break your nose and as long as your nose stops bleeding, you might not be able to tell the nose is broken upon first glance. However, the people that reported him deceased likely would have been able to see some of the, I mean, this is a severe, severe injury uh, on his head. And so it got me thinking about the blood, right? Was there blood found? And th and then it got me thinking, number two, about the hotel. Did someone, you know, see him come back? Was he truly alone? Were they able to, to monitor the, the security cameras at the Ritz-Carlton? And I don't know how how accurate this reporting is here, but it says sometime around 2 a.m. Saget was seen on surveillance video exiting the elevator on the hotel's ninth floor, which in my last video, I did pretty much put him back in his hotel room by around 2 a.m. based on the distance from his last known location where he was doing his stand-up show. He walked down the hallway to his room, entered his room, hung a do not disturb sign on the doorknob before locking the door from the inside. So that apparently happened. Authorities who viewed the footage told people that the actor showed no signs of distress and all seemed normal. Cool. So apparently they were able to look at the security camera footage. It says investigators have now determined what they think happened to Bob Saget. Upon inspection of the hotel rooms, counters, and tables, no traces of blood or hair were found. Authorities believe that Saget likely lost consciousness in the bathroom and fell backward onto the hard marble floor and struck his head. Police think that it's possible that Saget regained consciousness and groggily stumbled into bed where he again lost consciousness and never woke up. They estimate he probably that he died approximately 12 hours before his body was found, which would make sense once again because if he came back to the hotel around 2 a.m., um, he was reported dead or they, they went into his room uh, at 4 p.m. the next day. So that's 14 hours later. Um, is my math right there? Basically, 12 hours would be him dying around 4 in the morning to when they found him at 4 p.m. Um, so he probably died between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. So those are the things that kind of stood out to me as odd. And and the, the slipping on the bathroom floor thing is a definite possibility. That's likely what happened to, to Bob Saget. He probably came back, took a shower, came out, maybe didn't, maybe didn't throw a towel down on the marble floor, right? Sometimes you have to throw your own towel down at hotels and there's not like rugs, right? But the whole no blood thing is super weird to me. I guess it's definitely possible. Um, you can definitely hit your head in a certain part and just a certain area of your head and it can crack like an eggshell. But the way the neurosurgeons were describing his injuries were just super, it just seems super, super serious. Um, and so anyways, the, the next thing I want to go over, and this is one thing that, uh, that a lot of people sent to me uh, after my, my video came out, was this video uh, where he was talking to Kelly Rizzo on a podcast uh, not even, I don't even know how, yeah, not even six months ago. And uh, this is what he said. I want to know if you if you guys haven't seen this. I want to know what you guys think of this down below. Goodfellas, Casino, Scarface. Um, but so I don't have long to live. These are your favorites. I'm going to be found dead in bed. You better watch out. Um, so they're talking about like movies. I think they're talking about movies like if you're going to watch 10 movies or something before you die, these are the ones to watch, right? And so he says something about not having long to live. And, and look, guys. Bob Saget's a comedian. Some things are probably out of left field, right? He, he's a comedian. But the thing that followed that, the, the I'm going to be found dead in bed thing, was just super strange. But so I don't have long to live. These are your favorites. I'm going to be found dead in bed. You better watch out. Um, and I don't even know why she said you better watch out after. I guess I would need to watch the full interview to know why she may have reacted that way. 
but that is a strange thing. So what do you guys think of that? Let me know down in the description below um, or in the comments below. I will be down in the comments checking out some of your comments. I feel like if you asked um, people on the street, if you go to Hollywood Boulevard right now and you said, how did Bob Saget die? I think it would be a 50-50 split. You'd have 50% of people going, wait, Bob Saget's dead? Or, or And then you'd have... 50% of the people going, oh, yeah, didn't he die of like a heart attack or something? And then that would be it. There'd be like a couple people that know that he hit his head. I think obviously there's a lot of people that know uh, that that's his true cause of death. But I feel like the way it was initially reported made people just think, oh, yeah, he died of a heart attack. And now it's kind of brushed under the rug. And there's just more to it, I feel like, that's a little bit weird. Like I feel like they would have more evidence of his injuries. I'll be here to follow any new developments in the story, obviously, if there are any. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button down below. If you want to watch more videos on this channel, I cover true crime, missing persons cases. I do live streams here on the channel. Uh, definitely hit the subscribe button down below to be a part of those and to see when I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.